everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a review over the Triffle Cosmetics. I had a few things sent to me, so yes, these products were sent to me for free, but all opinions are going to be my own. Y'all know with first impressions, my face tells it all of what I actually think about the product. I'm sorry if I look tired right now. It is currently 1 a.m. in Texas. It's the middle of finals week, but I just need a break from accounting. I cannot do it anymore so we are taking a break because this weekend I do have my ring ceremony so I won't be able to film very much this weekend and depending if I can get my computer to actually work I will be able to get this video uploaded so I have my face brows things like that done but I have an eyeshadow palette blush, bronzer, and a few lip products that we are going to try out. So the one that I'm itching to try the most is the bronzer. It's the sponge bronzer. It is a powder bronzer. And it looks like this. It looks a bit dark, if we're being honest. Uh, not sure how this is going to work because I am so fair at skin. I'm just going to take my Morphe E4 brush. It is a angled bronzer contour brush and we're just going to pat a little bit off on the back of my hand just to be safe since we don't know how Ooh, that is pigmented. Hello. We're just gonna see how this works. I feel like it may be a little bit too orange for my skin tone because I am so fair skin. But as always, if all else fails, I do have friends and family that are darker complected that will be able to wear this. So first impression, this comes off very, very pigmented. I tapped off a lot of product and there is still a ton on this brush. So this is really impressive. I feel like I may be able to wear this during the summer. During the winter, probably not so much. Um, it still is a little bit dark for my skin, but during the summer, that's not as big of a deal because you're just trying to look bronzy in the summer. It blends in really, really nicely. It's just kind of, it's a little bit dark for my skin tone. I can go in with powder and diffuse the color a little bit, but I like it. It blended really easily. That was, that was quick. All right, next up is something that y'all know I don't use a lot. It is a blush product, but I thought I would go ahead and just try it out. It is the Cheek Souffle, and it is a cream blush. So I have no clue how to work with cream products because I don't cream contour, cream blush, cream bronzer. I don't use cream. So honestly, we're going to do two things. We're going to go in with my finger on one side and then a brush on the other side because I've seen it done both ways. So wow. That is pink! I think I'm just gonna like smile and just dab it onto my cheeks. Putting it on with your finger probably isn't the best idea. It's kind of just sticking where I've placed it down, but then again, I feel like I can't really judge cream products because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to go in with this Luxie 512 brush. It is a contouring brush. But who cares? You can use brushes for whatever you want, and we're just gonna... Okay, there's the pigment. So definitely use this <laughs> with a brush. I feel like I'm gonna look like a clown by the end of this video because I never wear a blush. Y'all, <laughs> this is so pigmented. We're definitely going to have to go in with a buffer brush. Oh, that's pigmented. I'm going to go in with my G1 Morphe brush. This is from the Gunmetal Collection. I got this in this month's Morphe Me box. If you want to see that video, I'll link it down below. I'm going to go in with some translucent powder. And we're pretty much just going to blend all this in to diffuse the color a little bit, mainly from the blush. Look at that difference. Look at that difference. This is kind of just a step that I go through whenever I wear things that are a little bit too dark or I went in a little bit too heavy handed, I just go in with a buffer brush or a stippling brush with some powder and blend everything in. This side is not wanting to blend. I'm going to go in with the Praline palette. That's actually the name of one of my glitters, so that's really cute. And this is what it looks like, kind of like a everyday type palette. Aren't any names on the back, but that's not a massive deal with me. I don't really see a transition shade that I like right here. I see one that I can put on top of a transition shade. So I'm going to go in with this bronzer with a very small amount because y'all, this bronzer is pigmented. And I'm going to go in with the smallest amount, tapping everything pretty much off of my brush. And I'm just going to start placing this into the crease. I feel like there's pros and cons to pigmented bronzers because they're so pigmented where you don't have to use a lot of product, 
but if you're a first time user and you go in heavy handed, you're just, you're in trouble. Some, sometimes I think it's just better to go in with as little product as possible no matter what product you're using because if you go in heavy handed, it's a little hard to fix. I don't know if I mentioned, but I am using a Lexi 229 brush. It's a tapered blending brush. So now I'm going to go in with this mauve shade. I'm going to pick up a good amount, but I'm also going to tap a lot of it off just because the other products have been so pigmented. I'm just going to play it safe, and I'm just going to apply that on top of that shade that we put down earlier. It's blending in really nicely since this wasn't the original shade that I put down. I can't really tell its pigment, but I do see a giant difference between this eye and this eye as you can as well. So it does have really good pigment. They're very buttery, all the products are. So they blend out extremely easily. Okay, so we're going to go in on this eye as well. Okay, now I can really see the payout. Yes, they do have a lot of payout. So again, if you're going to try these products, make sure with everything just to go in with not a very heavy hand and to kick off as much extra product as you can because better safe than sorry. I feel like I'm really repeating that, but I feel like a lot of people still aren't going to listen. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go in with this bright gold shade right here. It's so pretty. It is the only shimmery shade out of the bunch. I'm not really sure if it's a shimmer, but it is not a true matte. And I'm just going to place this on my lid. It's not going down as well as I thought it would. It's almost not sticking to my lid. It may work better with a brush. Some eyeshadows just don't work with um, fingers. I've come to realize that. I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk brush. And I'm going to spray it a little bit with my Mario setting spray. This giant ass bottle. We're just going to we're going to see how this works out. Oh. Okay, so you do get a lot more payout with the brush, but you also get a lot more payout down here. I'm having a ton of fallout. Pro and con works better with the brush. Con, it also gets all over your eyelid. So, you know, you can use it how you want to. You can use it with your finger. You can use it with a brush. Kind of just depends, whatever you want to do, but I would say if you're going to use this with a brush, go in um, and do your eyeshadow before you do your face makeup or use shadow shields if you have those or bake underneath your eye. I just bake when I know that I'm doing my eyeshadow after I'm doing my foundation just because I don't really want to spend money on shadow shields and pretty much works the exact same. So almost like it doesn't want to stick to the middle of my lid and I'm not really sure why. Sometimes with products, I do have trouble with them sticking on the inside of my lid, which is kind of weird, but I'm going to go back in with that mauve shade just to blend out a little bit more because I do have hooded eyes, so sometimes the shimmerier shades will transition up into my crease a little bit too much. I'm going to go in with this Morphe 560 brush. It's just a pointed brush, and I'm going to pick up this purple shade and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line and I think I may even bring it up into my uh, outer V just a little bit kind of like a shadow liner maybe is that a word? to clean up that eyeshadow a little bit on the end I'm going to go in with a Morphe G41 brush with some translucent powder just to clean up. We do have quite a few lip products here. I am just going to leave that there for a little bit. I have two lipsticks here. One is in Lip Parfait. Nope, they're both in Lip Parfait. That's the name of the lipsticks. Duh! These don't have names. This has a pug on it, and this one has uh, little dogs and raccoons. Okay, this is what pug looks like. Pug. That's what the one in the orange shade looks like. And this is what the one in the pink looks like. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with um, this pink shade initially on my lips. And then I'm going to put that tan color in the middle just so we can see how both of them look on. These are creamy. Wow.
Okay, so these are really creamy, but they don't have a very thick coat. So if you have kind of like cracked lips like I do right now, they're going to show. Mine are showing pretty bad right now. And the fact that it is 1 a.m. probably doesn't help um, that much, but I don't really know. So we're going to add this tan shade in the middle, see if it'll help bring that color down just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take the 2-in-1 Illuminating Lip and Cheek Stain. We don't need any more cheek action going on right now. This is in Candied Apple, so I'm just going to add this into the center right here so we can just get a little bit of highlight. It smells really good. That is a bright pink. Alright, and last but not least, I'm not going to try this on just because we already have a lot of color going on. This is the Lip and Cheek Jam. It is water-based. So this is what I think is really cool about this. It comes out in a little droplet. My issue is, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong because we all know I'm apparently just not good at products. But when I do it, it's it comes out in like bubble form. It doesn't actually come out. And maybe that's because it's a jelly based something or another. But it comes like, it's like you blend it in. So you can definitely tell it's water based because you can feel the water in it. So it blends out really well. I think it's just getting the product actually out of the tube and it stains your finger. Didn't mean to flip you off there. Alright guys, so this completes this video. Overall, I really like the products. The lip products aren't very thick, so if you do have dry lips, make sure you are exfoliating before you are putting them on. But they are extremely buttery, so they are good for beginners. They go on extremely easily. The eyeshadow has quite a bit of fallout, so if you're going to be going in with a brush to pack on that shimmery shade, make sure you either do your eyes before you do your foundation or put some bake underneath. The bronzer and blush blended out great, super easy. Everything is so, so pigmented. I don't know if I use cream blush correctly or not, but I feel like I just look absolutely crazy because I'm not a blush person, and this is why. I just I don't think it looks good on my skin, but I'm really impressed with that bronzer. It did not take a lot of product to get the job done. So if you guys want to check out Triffle Cosmetics, I will leave the link down below. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you know of any other small businesses you would like me to check out, leave them down below. I would love to. Leave any comments, questions, concerns, or love down in the comments. Remember to subscribe because whenever I hit 2,000 subscribers, I am doing a huge giveaway. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.